bride to be once in sickness and in health, removed from her upcoming vows, replaced with in happiness and health. She says she spent much of her life taking care of sick relatives and doesn't want to feel obliged to do the same for her future husband. Has she got a point, Nadia? No, and okay. I think she must be quite young because I think that's the sort of thing that you say when, when you're young. And I think, I, you know, I sympathise with the fact she's looked after sick people. But if I were him, I wouldn't marry her because wow. I think sickness and health is my favourite vow because it's about unconditional love. It's about, why not just date otherwise? Because for me, marriage means to me that we're in it and we're in it and we are sticking together. And we, and it's only if I learnt this when I've got older and that whatever happens, I'm going to be there for you and you're going to be there for me. Mm. Um, what happens if she was to get sick mm. and she's taken that vow out? Mm. I think it's a really sad... It's a privileged position to be in, isn't it's it? It's intimacy, to look after somebody when they need you is a really intimate yeah. thing. I think on the flip side, I mean, I, 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 I agree with you. I don't think you should take that out. It's such a precious thing. And almost it is the marker of a relationship, isn't it? If you can do that and be that person for someone when, when they're most needing. Mm. But I, I, I've found to be the person that gets sick or to be the, the person in the relationship that might need help has been a challenge. And I, when, when we're you know, thinking about this, this story, I was thinking about how I've often struggled with relationships and said things like, when I'm sick or if I'm in a prolonged state where I'm going to need help, which happens sometimes. With my spinal injury, I get things like um, pressure sores and mm. various complications, which means that I have to potentially sometimes spend time, say, for example, lying on my stomach out of action, right? Mm. And I've... One time that happened to me, it was, it was almost three years of being in that state. Mm. So it was a long, long time, right? Wow. And so, and I, and it's not uncommon for people with someone like a disability like mine to have those problems happen wow. again. And I remember, you know, thinking how I don't want to put that on somebody mm. because I don't want them to have to deal with that too. And, and in a relationship, that's such a hard thing to, mm. to bring to the table if, if you are someone that needs help. But that was my internalised ableism, yeah. being like, yeah. I don't want to put that on you, I'm a burden. And it's taken a while for me to get rid of that voice. And because the be flip side, you need to be hard. vulnerable. Yeah. To because say, I would love yeah. to be vulnerable. Exactly, if that person was mm. ill, Absolutely. you surely would want to yeah. be there yeah. for them uh, all the time. Without a shadow of a doubt, you know, if, 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 my, if my partner, whoever it was, was to say, I, I'm going to be sick, and are you going to say, therefore, that you're not going to let me care for you? I'd be like, no, of course exactly. I'd want to help exactly. you. Exactly, my, my point is, if we, was, if we were to tell, say this story came from a man, Say it was a man who'd said, I don't want to say these vows to my wife-to-be. We would be outraged, sure. you know, because it's because it's a woman saying it, we almost think... I am outraged. Really, well, yeah, you are <laughs> still outraged. But what mm. she's basically saying is, instead of in good times and bad times, it's good times and good times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just keep the good times yeah. just keep the good times. Yeah. <laughs> it's, hell, it's just like in health and happiness. Well, that is the... Yeah, yeah. The, otherwise, yeah. bug off. Exactly. Yeah. So I feel like she's... she's. It's a very immature comment in my eyes, but I think, for me, I didn't know I was going to get terrible morning sickness, which is a sickness. And if I hadn't have had the support of my husband, my friends, my family, everyone around me, I was literally like smells were setting me off. I, I, I didn't see this coming. And if people had just gone, I'm out. Oh, this is well, one of those yeah. not so good times. Yeah. I'll get it out. And it, I feel that's and unfair. And it's a marker of a relationship, isn't yeah. it? That that when you are going through that those hard times, if your partner doesn't react in the way that because mm -hmm. it's about intimacy, like you said, Nadia, if they don't react in the way that you want them to or that they should do in order to feel like you're supported, mm. that's a marker of that intimacy is sort of gone, mm. isn't it? Because mm -hmm. think, people think yeah. about intimacy in different ways, but it's that closeness when yeah. they're there for you in the yeah. hard I think, time. I think if you love somebody and they allow you to know that they need you, that's, mm. a, real, that's a privilege. You know, when I just think about, like, for instance, my parents are getting older and, like, you know, sometimes I'll do things for them and they're very appreciative and stuff, and I, I really... I so want them to understand how good it feels for me too because I love them. Yeah, really, and I yeah. think if you let somebody... I've had to work so hard on being vulnerable. I don't like yeah, it. We yeah. don't like yeah. it. Mm. We don't like it. But I think that's when you get to a place of intimacy with a and person. And it, it's that line between mm. in, being an independent person or yeah. being in, into an in, interdependent relationship where you yeah. can find that balance of, I'm going to need your help, 
but sometimes I'm going to offer you my help, exactly. and it's that line, and yeah. it's, it's a hard, it's a hard one. But imagine this, if yeah. your whole relationship you only took, you only gave presents. Yeah, but do you know what? I don't back. know whether we're being fair enough on this woman because we're assuming it's because she didn't, she spent time looking after sick people. Maybe she's trying to relieve her partner from having to ever look after her if she gets very yeah, ill. Yeah, but, but that's but, what I mean. It's but a that's, kind of... Yeah, it's a, that's, it's I think a it's choice a, you can't make on someone's behalf. Exactly. No. Right. You can't control all of what's going to happen in the world. And mm. I think you're missing... Uh, why I feel sad for her is I think she's missing out on what a relationship yes, is. Yes, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, and I, I don't think this comes from a mean place. I think it comes from a place like, let's just make this all OK. Well... Yeah, that's not how... That's not lying. That's not lying.